Hello there, and welcome to episode 12 of the Williams RTG, The Rise of Vals, with me, Darth Ravon Gaming. Great Britain, Silverstone, home GP. What sort of results can we pull off here? We're going to need a new engine, possibly also either an ERS or gearbox in Danny Rick's car for this weekend. Uh, we do, however, have a new underfloor for Danny Rick's car as well. Um, and new side pods onto Alexander Albon's car. Uh, we're going high with the bets this weekend. It's uh, going for the fastest lap. Both cars in Q3. Both cars finishing top, well, qualifying top 10. Apparently our finished position streak is only a 15th for one driver, so we're, we're low bets there, to be honest. That's not something we can change. Um, let's just have a quick look at the driver overviews. So we got OK morale. 87 control on Danny Rick and 83 control on Albono. So, with a bit of luck, things will go better this weekend, and I won't short fuel the car again. Bit of a spoiler for last uh, episode Welcome there, if you've not seen it. Okay, so, one of the great things about this car is we can run less fuel than everyone else, because we are the lightest car on the grid. We are expecting rain for quali, possibly. Um, so, let us move to the Dirty Sheet setup page. Okay, so, where are we? 6.11 apparently, that's interesting. Silverstone wants no traction, all right. That's a surprise. How many laps will the softs do at 27, apparently? That's interesting. I'm slightly surprised by such a low top speed. I was expecting higher than that. Well, we're in, within range on both of these. Um, oh, we need to change Danny Rick's uh, run plan driving style. Quick save, just to double check. I don't remember which Weekends, a sprint weekends. It's not a sprint weekend. That's fine. Um, we're looking at a two stop race here. I'm not doing what I did last week in Austria. Um, Danny Rick's got the new underfloor in. We're really hoping we're going to be coming out of this practice session without any damage. Um, I do think we need to tell Albon to allow his teammate by if and when the opportunity arises. Because I feel as though Danny Rick's car is going to be quicker. Comfortably quicker. Three to four tenths quicker. Or not. That's interesting. Not sure if I've got Stand by on that. 
Oh, I think maybe to do with the wear factor. But, uh... When we're running such low push. But still being ahead of Ocon as well. Wow, okay. And running such high fuel. Oh, hello. Okay, so let's do some feedback on this. So, great, 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 optimal. And just to check, this is slot one, in fact. So, if we just flick through here. Very little change. More braking stability, more cornering, slightly less traction. I feel like that is a good setup. Um, I'd quite like to run a medium soft medium in the race I think just to or a medium medium soft okay with the car. Yeah, it seems in the ballpark. even though it's yeah. claiming it's a soft medium soft around here well, that's interesting so it claims Danny Rick will Uh, need a different setup. So let's throw his values in. So you've got good, great, great, good, and good. Seven eleven. That makes sense to me. Eight point two. He wants more. What, you think he wants more traction? All right. Ah. That makes sense. I'm not sure I agree with that. I feel like that's going to be more likely. Throw some new softs on, off we go again. I think we can maybe just put 20 laps of fuel in now, although we do want to be going to the end of the session, really. We know, oh no, you know, we never did.
that's just massively increased our wear. Yes, you are. You're absolutely fine on temperatures, Billy. So, are we going faster? I think we are. Only slightly. Yeah, I know your engine doesn't have any push. It's knackered. The fact that Danny Rick is staying so close when his engine's this destroyed. We could be looking at a very quick car with a brand new engine in. I think we stay out. Let's get that track track acclimatization. It's not worth coming in. We'll, we'll get make sure we're over thirty three percent after session one. Okay. Everything's pretty stable. Nice one, guys. Understood. The tires. The tires are already gone. Copy that. Get chicken flag. So twenty laps on yellow push. The softs are done. Worth noting. So, his other setup was better, and that's fine. So what did we change? We've got, so we went six and a half. Let's give feedback on this. So our feedback here is it's still just great on everything. So we're now going Five point five, eleven point five, nine point one, lots of camber. So kill the tires. More cornering, more staking stability, less oversteer, less traction. That makes sense to me. And that's fine. So if we go medium tires on this run, 
No, let's go soft. Medium. I don't know. We'll give him mediums. No, we won't. We'll give him softs. And we'll give him set 20 laps of fuel this time. And low push. As opposed to Danny Rick, who's set up this time round is slightly better. So we're going hardcore on the oversteer then. I'm not sure I really agree with this, but... Okay. Off we go. Right, let's just do avoid curves and clean air because I really don't want to be killing the engines just yet. So we're just aiming for maximum, uh... yeah, because they're too cold. Heat them up. So Donny Rick's only two tenths behind Gasly when he's on zero push. Trolls a benchmark that we want to be destroying, really. That Aston's going to be disgusting around here this weekend. Where's Alonso up the top? Yeah. There you go. The Aston's running away with it. Still only great. Okay, so Albono. Now I could be wrong, but it shafted me again. So yeah. I changed this setup and it hasn't changed it because I hit revert. So off we go again. So just a tip. Never hit revert, then change your setting again. put way too much fuel in there. So Danny Rick's setup is still suboptimal. 
which is annoying. The fact that we have one as optimal now is definitely beneficial. Could do with having I mean, I feel that's pretty poor, unable to find a set up match and all feedbacks. But I do feel as though that's actually correct. Um, like 25 laps is all we really need to be putting in here. Let's give him 25 laps back. Danny Rick go. And Albono go. So we need to get the laps in, really. Leave the boys out till the end now. Don't have damaged the car, don't have damaged the car, that's fine. Let's see where you ran wide. Heading into cops. You no, running wide, at, that's not how you cut back onto the track on cops. But all right. <sighs> Alvon doesn't have to ruin his tyres compared to Danny Rick. So it's, it's tenth is what it's gaining him at the moment. And that's before we've got proper correlation of data. Albon's still only a great. Optimal for Danny Rick, so it's at least in the top 5%. We can have a little tweak where necessary if needs be, we've got plenty of time for that. It's long run time. Stroll and Hamilton both taking pens. Hopefully it's not raining in P3. We could really do without it raining. Oh, of course it's raining. Car set up 99%. All right. So that's an easy fix. So set up here is, let's see if it reckons the same as I do, which is one click to the right 
on tow. Unable to calibrate, right. So you're wrong and I'm right is the short of this game. Right. We'll throw 35 laps in. As opposed to Albono, whose setup is still absolute gash. Right. We're really struggling with Albon here. So, front wing is great. That's good. But his, his original setup was just better. Like, how is it, how has the calculator managed to get it so wrong? Right, 5.5, 11.5. 9.1, 3.2, and 0.25. Well, I'm not feeling that. But all right. Did I put 30 laps into any rigs now for 35? I don't want hards, I want inters. What am I doing? Right, save. That's interesting as well. Number of laps we can do when Danny Rick's car is more. Quick pause. So it reckons halfway through the session, so we need to change the fuel. We'll change it to 25 laps. Very interesting. We seem to be not actually saving any tyre wear on the Inters versus Alonso. Oh no, we are. That's a lie. No further rain expected. Fantastic. Yes. Can we have the uh, plan completed so we can come in? You can afford to drop back. Yep. Come on, finish your plan and come in. Okay. 
actually balances good. Copy. So we've got optimal oversteer. So look at Albon's, yes. Braking is great, cornering is great, traction is great, and straights are optimal. Right, so it's six, eleven and a half, nine point one, three point oh five, and zero. Which I believe does make more sense. Hards on. Fantastic. Hands on. 30 laps. See you later, mate. I think Danny Rick's engine is now about to give up on life. Oh no, he's just, he's just overtaking slower cars. So we're just not giving pace away really at all. We're going high on fuel, longer runs, not going soft tyres. I thought I was going to go off. Second, Albono hits five on his prep. We come in. I'm looking for optimal. We have optimal. I'm happy. Hey, son. I'm intrigued. Right. Yep, optimal. Tires took a little hit that lap. Okay. So, focus on your tires. He's up to 91%, it'll be 92 by the time he comes in. So, we have a 100% optimal setup for Albono, and it might be one point off for Danny Rick, 97%, so...
Why can't we look at the settings like we can on... That's interesting. Goal progress, 1%, but it's actually 100. Like, nice little glitch there. I really hope it's not going to end up shafting him. So. We go to quali. What can we achieve? It's time for qualifying. Now, Silverstone's the sort of track where I do feel like you can do just the one flying lap and somehow get the tyres up to temp, but... I don't know if I want to risk it. Right, let's throw Albano's new, newer engine in. And his newer ERS. Gearbox. Oh, God. Right. This is where it gets expensive. So... We'll start with the 57% engine and the 49% ERS and the... Oh God. Right. We, we quite possibly are looking at, what, 5 million, 7.5 million, 8 million and starting at the back. Um, we don't have 8 million to spend, is the simple fact. So, I think the annoying thing is the gearbox is the one that is not needed. I think, I think we just do engine. Um, yeah, I feel like <sighs> can't really afford to do the other two when we've just done the engine. So, yeah, let's do it. Here goes. And in fact, do you know what? Let's go two flying laps. I shall return momentarily, quite simply, because I've got a cat that's about to start destroying carpet. Destroy is gone. So we're going to warm up the tyres slowly, gently bring them in, and see where we are. Any sign of rain this session? Yes, there is. So we need to not mess about. Manual control. We will do top up on the way out. Standard on the tyres, I think. This is Silverstone after all. Wait till stow. Everything's 
everyone's gone out. Which is fine. We're too close to Sonoda. Tony Wick shifting. Right. Do you know what? I feel like it's an ego retire. Oh, especially when they've all just gone out on inters. Are they all trying to increase their confidence or something? Because that's... It's not going to help them. Yep, the track is not going to be at a position where they're going to be able to heat their tyres well enough and one outlap. Unless they're doing two outlaps, we're good. Yep, we're sorted. Ego retire was the correct move. I didn't check their tire percentages. I feel like they'll use two sets of tires for that. So we're starting on rain here. I don't want to start on Inters if I can get away with it. Let's have a look at this track. So the track is not getting better than it is right now. We could theoretically be looking at a dry track here. They've all still gone into us. Tires are too cold. Far too cold. All right, cars are not coming in on their own like they have a habit of doing. Albon is slow. Albon's very slow.
But is the ego retire fast? Is the question. Why have they not come in? So you're going to be looking at Sainz and Russell and Verstappen being ahead. The rest, I can't see how they'll make it. Especially with the track getting wetter. I think we're okay. Nope, they're, they're not coming back out again. We're good. Ego retire is fine. We got away with it. Two cars in Q3. How high up the grid can Danny Rick go? Right, so that is... It's a 0.8 track water. It's dry. That's That's basically dry. We need to take a very quick look at where the... the where the rain's going. I think we big ball it and go out and say, Oh, don't do that. Oh, never mind. That's great. Oh, we've made a mistake. Unless it's right on the crossover. Make sure you work your bricks. Okay. And we're able to absolutely nail it under the ZRS. We're happy to push on with the tyres. Yes. No, I think we come back in and go out on some softs again. We've made a mistake here. And we could. Potentially. Be in a position to absolutely destroy. These guys hot laps. Oh, I've not put soft sun for Danny Rick, have I? I reckon we just go a big push straight from the off. And see where the tyres are at. They're actually alright. Danny Ricks could do with being a little bit hotter, but. No. Do you know what? They're both top 10. Well, we've just wrecked our tyres. Wrecked our quality. Made a big mistake. Not going on the sauce to start with. We had prime. Prime track. That is the track going That's the track going dry.
Why won't you let me have... Right, you're not going to let me do that. Fine. We're just not going to get faster. That's it. Danny Rick's going to start from the back. We'll keep the tyres. I'll on P9, which is fine. He's not going to be P9, he'll be P8, maybe even P7. Welcome to race day. So we're looking clear skies. So Danny Rick's actually only starting P19. He's not starting from the back. That's insane. Who's starting at the back? I'm going to go with P10. In fact, I'm not. I'm going to go P8. And I reckon Albon can pull P6. I'm going to go cocky. We'll go big or go home. There's a potential 3 million in the bank here. Um, okay, so... Why has Albon got a... Oh, because he had a, a crash, didn't he? Um, right. So, driver options. Will full fuel, full push. Full deploy. No. We'll work the fuel out in a minute. It is Silverstone. There's a lot of high throttle stuff. So I, I think we could do with having extra fuel. Um, you're looking at just shy of two kilos a lap. So... Strats. That's 120.13, 120.14, and then 120.13. So, the Med Med Soft is king. I think. That's a 120.02. I'm feeling like the soft hard, medium hard soft or the soft hard soft might be the way to go. So that's a 120.02, and that's a 120.05, that's a 120.14. So the one stop is a total no go. Um, let's try a medium hard soft. Oh, 
about medium hard medium? The medium hard medium gives us a lot more push. A lot more push. But I feel like the medium hard soft is going to be the way to go. Just to give us that little bit more wiggle room. Then again, we can always go keep the tire off the curve, save the engine a little bit, and then just really shove it at the end. So you know what? I reckon we can go full push on all this. Okay, so final stop will be there. 120.04 I do think with Albon there's the opportunity to stop as late as possible um, we can maybe even go soft soft hard soft with Albon but uh, let's update that. So the medium, you know what? That's an undercut strat. And I like an undercut strat. Let's pull the soft tyre that little bit further that way. We'll do the, we'll plan for the undercut. And with Danny Rick, it's a medium, hard, medium. You know what, I might do it this way. Let's go with a big hard push at the start. If we undercut, then we undercut. If we don't, then we can always go longer and... That's my strat. And what we'll do is we'll do an option to switch to the soft at the end. by going slightly longer. And have the soft tire as option two. It's a supposedly five second gap, but as long as he's gonna make P10, it doesn't matter. That's our strats. Right, fuel wise. I'm tempted to just leave it as it is. Let's go one over. It's a lot of fuel extra here though. No, let's go one over. We're uh, we're behind on the cars that are uh, well, the cars that are in front of us are, are, are a lot worse cars. So let's give it a push. See where we can go. The British Grand Prix is nearly upon us. The drivers composing themselves. I didn't check whether it was meant to rain. It's not well, it's not meant to rain, but will it rain? Is the question. And it slides out, and away we go. No sign of rain. Great. 
Right, so Albono has high. Do you know what? I might just leave them as they are. There's some slow cars in the top six, though. There's big potential. And Alonso's starting on hard, so he's going to be one-stopping. Um, right, we need to, there's, there's a lot of cars out of position. We've got to really shift it. We need to be ahead of Stroll. Um, so I think Danny Rick needs to go on the aggressive overtakes, as does Albono. Um... We'll go full aggression on uh, on lap one. That Haas has just absolutely done Albono. Okay, time to tone down the overtakes, I think, just to minimise the confidence loss. And I think we'll go with now, say, driving, avoiding the high-risk kerbs just because when we can look after the tyres a little bit more for a couple of laps Danny Rick's not really used any of his ERS which is a bit of a worry oh now he has alright oh, Bono's lost too much ground I don't like that I don't like this tactic at all actually Let's uh, stay on the high-risk curves then, please, because you've just gone into last position. And I would prefer you not being in last position. Your tyres are far too hot, mate. As are yours, Albono. I want you to tone it down, please. We should have underfield. Let's just stick to uh, that. You can go back to harvest. Let's try to this back up. Oh, that Aston Martin. So Danny Rick does stroll when he's not got anything. Great. I'm not even telling you to push, buddy. That house is going to hold me up. Could really do with you skinning De Vries roundabout now with Danny Rick. Uh, that's neutral. You're going to lose DRS if you don't be careful. Wow. That's a hell of a fight. One hell of a fight. Come on, Albano. So the short of this is we can't run full push. It's not possible.
Not on these tyres anyway. Hulkenberg has now dropped DRS. And he's in it back in it again. Verstappen's just slow through sector two. Right, that's Danny Rick getting a position now. Well, that's good. Turn the wick down a little bit, buddy. Just a little bit. Right, this is where you deploy. You've got to go for it around here, mate. What did I just have a problem with? Just remember in the main straight, my right there. We can take a look now. Well, no, that's that's Albon. I don't want Albon. I want the crash. I need to know who's crashed. And there's been quite a crash. There's a pen midway up the grid. Verstappen. Okay. We can afford to drop back. Hockenberg is dropping pace. Let's try and chase after Perez a little bit. Doesn't really matter if we cook the tyres a bit at this point. Can Danny Rick do stroll through there? Yes, he can. And I think we can maybe... Oh, no. Right, Albono has dropped Hulkenberg. That's fine. The problem we've got here is Stroll's lack of ability. He's actually holding Danny Rick up because he's in a mental car. Right, Albono can do the undercut here. A very slight undercut. I think. Once he's in DRS, he can save fuel. 
Danny Rick can just push like hell. That's fine. Let's have you in the DRS, mate. Come on. That'll do. I think we save a little bit of fuel here. Save save the fuel, burn the tyres is the way. Whereas Albono can now potentially try and skin Russell. But I think we can serve fuel and burn the tyres as well. Uh, although we don't really want to burn the tyres. Do a harvest, see where that happens. Okay, Danny Rick's dropped out using the low fuel, so we'll go back to push. I'm giving have him shove it up Norris a bit. God, the speed he's got through the S is there. Oh, we'll go into harvest again. Actually, let's not even do that. We'll we'll be round Norris on the next straight. That feels good. Where are we on the pit window? We're good. Why didn't you shift round him? You should be able to skin him here. Yes. Keep the gas on, off you go. Box. Yep, understood. Okay, so where is Albon going to come out? It's what, 17 drop a second, is it? So it'll be 20, 24 seconds. He's going to come out behind Verstappen. Is that right? That can't be right. 19 seconds. So, yeah, that's right. 20 seconds off that is he's going to come out in a nice big gap before Gasly. We bring him in now. We go a lap early. Um, and 
Danny Rick. 20 seconds back. He's going to come out. Oh, God. Behind Magnussen. Who's on soft, so that doesn't matter. And the rest of them are going to pit any second. So, hang on. Box this lap. Tyres, hards. Yes. Box this lap. Hards. I need you to be in head of Magnuson. I need you to be ahead of Magnuson. Where's Magnuson? He's not ahead of Magnuson. Damn it. I don't want oh, I was expecting him to be ahead of a statman there. You see you need to get them tires up to temp, mate, I'm afraid. Danny Rick go push. No, we need to really push. We need the undercut. We need the power of the undercut. He's just caught Magnuson on softs. That's insane. To driving clean air now. Oh, he's just done the move around the outside. Okay. So Russell on fastest lap so far. But that is Danny Rick closing fast on Hamilton. Hamilton does have DRS. That's not going to work. You know what? Stay the driving clean air. Skin him around there. That'll do. Keep driving in clean air. I reckon you can still have him. Oh, you can't. You will now, though. Nope. Not through the S's. Now is when you go for him. Come on. Okay, Albon's done the whole shifting good and proper now. Let's just 
go into a tyre save mode for Danny Rick for a moment. Uh-oh, those soft tyres. Big push. Right, you got him. Who's left a pit? Alonso. Wow, he's 44 seconds ahead. So Albon is on track for going onto the softs at the end, which is fine. Did a cracking job, Albono. Albon is pulling Perez along a little bit here, but... Like fighting strolls, maybe not our fight here.
That Aston's disgusting. So Alonso's gone to mediums to do the last 20... Two laps of the race. Would I be right in thinking Perez's tyres are about done? And I am correct in thinking Perez's tyres are about done. I don't think you need to try and shaft him so hard, Albono. Bono doing bits here. Perez just can't touch him down in the stow. So 19 seconds on that, you'd be talking pulling out about what, 20. Was 30 seconds behind the lead. So he'd come out in 7th, 6th place at the moment. Russell on mediums will need to stop again. Alonso won't. I wonder if we're going to go and change the strat here. Put Albono onto mediums. Because he's currently, what, lapping... He's laughing quicker. I think Perez has finally done him. Yeah, we do a strat change here. Albono is going to go to mediums. And I think he does it next lap. Whereas I think Danny Rick needs to seriously look at the soft strap. looks a hard medium strat, a hard push medium strat. Or do we go... That's the other strat. Either way, he can push harder than he is doing. Okay, 
reduce lift and coast. Okay. Right, that's to cover off Perez. I was going to say, was that a Ferrari in the pit lane? Where's Perez? Behind. Albon's got to do a big push here. A really big push. I'm slightly disappointed we're behind Russell. That's a big gap Danny Rick's coming out into, to be fair. A very big gap. Has he just done? Oh no, he hasn't. He's got to conserve for a lap. Just one. In fact, he hasn't at all. We can conserve later after we get the fastest lap. Oh, 
No. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, he's just wrecked his tyres and he's going to lose a lot of positions here. Right, stay off the kerbs, mate. Look after your tyres. Time for a big push. A very big push. We could always pit Albon and try and go for a fastest lap. Nineteen seconds, that's thirty. It'd be forty three seconds back, it's not worth it. No, he needs to just try and get his tires to the end. That's not the fastest lap, and it needed to be. Danny Rick can push harder here. It's like three or four laps to bring the tyres under control and that'll be fine. P5 is enough. Not if he's doing a second lap, Luffle's doing a second lap faster it isn't though. Ocon's going faster at the moment, that's not good. But he is in the uh, the tail end of Verstappen, who is basically going to gift us a position. Nope, we know we need to push, we need to put oh no. We just got the DRS. And I mean just. Round the outside at Stowe. They are. Go, go on to. Oh crap! Wrong button. Stay off the high-risk curves for a lap. 
I mean one lap. Which we are going to do. Ocon's got nothing. And Stroll is slow. Stroll is really slow. Albon's got underfloor damage. Great. That's your brand new underfloor. What are you doing, man? How much push has Danny Rick got here? Our sensor P7 is available. Stroll's going to have DRS and we won't. But we got let through really fast. I think at current pace we're going to have him. That's a DRS. If it's not, it will be next lap. But so will Stroll. So we harvest down the hangar straight. Not the hangar straight. Stroll size are gone. We don't even need to worry here. Time to go, mate. Time to go. Give him the push. Driving cleaner and skin him. You didn't skin him. I was wanting you to skin him, buddy. This is your opportunity. Or it's not. Is your opportunity and you've done him I think you still need to push right. 
complete P7. Leclerc. Charles Leclerc is today's winner. Nice. Okay, good job. Just focus on your tyres. That is P5 and P7. That is a successful weekend. Yes, Most no, of the money we spent brought back. Well Your pace was good. Check it flag. Check it flag. The Greg wins. Using Stroll's ability to, or lack of ability to Hold the tyres while holding pace against him there. Alex Albon. From the back to seventh. Which keeps us ahead of Alpine for more. It keeps us further ahead. It just keeps us catching Merck again. We're dangerously close to Merck. I don't know if I want to be ahead of Merck for next season. We can effectively just stop the development on this car now. Four point four million, so we got most back of what we spent. We should still be in the black. We are. Um, I don't think we've got. That was a new rear wing as well. And that was, I'm pretty sure that was Alvin's brand new underfloor. We're not in debt. But basically, we can't afford to be in debt anymore. So we're missing another floor. When is Hungary? Two weeks away. Car 2 is missing a rear wing. And that's fine. Um... We're making underfloors, so that's fine. Not only are we making underfloors, we're we not making new underfloors. No car to Right, okay, that's fine. So we're making two underfloors and we'll have a new underfloor for the broken underfloor that was on his car anyway, ready for the next race. Um what about things that we're making ready for next race? 
So we'll have the new chassis, we'll have the new suspension. Basically, we'll have a lot of new parts on the car. Regulation changes to the scoring, double point, no, absolutely not. So they've added 10 days to the front wing and it'll be what, on the 12th of August? Maybe we'll just put more engineers on it. Drop that off and put that on there. Job done. Stock of things that I've only just built. Oh no. Well, we'll build more rear wings in a minute, mate. Chassis will have new ones shortly. So car one's currently running chassis four. So, as it stands, we basically have one of the fastest cars on the grid. Not only that, we have one of the best cooling cars on the grid. So we're effectively going full balls to the wall on next year's car now. So what, what are we short on? I'm short on a rear wing, I'm short on side pods. And I'm short on chassis. Are we developing another side pod? Yes, so I'm not gonna make another one. Um so it's a rear wing. Rear wing's that fast. All right then. Uh, finances. Got 40 million left. It's all about next year's car. Don't have double points. No double points. Double points are banned. Stupid rule. Oh no. Oh, why? 
ridiculous rule. Wait, isn't that my new suspension? So we're still running our original front wing. So as far as chassis is concerned, we have one of the best chassis on the grid. Just need to reduce the drag, which is a next year problem. Then, again, the front wing we are working on. Um, the rear wing is our rear wing really that bad? Didn't think that was the case. Side pods, we need to increase the cooling and reduce the drag. Underfloor is mental. I don't really need to worry about it. It's all about the airflow sensitivity for next year. And I'm not really that fussed. Suspension, it's all going to be about maintaining that low and high speed and maintaining the brake flowing like break f cooling and the airflow. So we have the lightest car on the grid. We have some of the best engine cooling on the grid. We have the best high speed cornering car on the grid and medium and low speed cornering is up there. It's just the top speed. So this track is not going to be a, a winner for us because it is hungry. I'm sure it's hungry. No. Yes, yes, it's hungry. Spa, however, could be mental. I do feel like we do need to make some parts though, or at least order some. I feel like we've already got an underfloor in the manufacture. Um, I've got four suspension parts, don't need them. I've got side pods, I don't need to really worry about that. Um, I might make a front wing just to increase the expertise. It is hungry after all. Um, so that was a new front wing. I don't think the front wing was underfloor. How many have we got? We're not going to be... I'm going to make one more. So race prep. Don't want fast development, I want analysis. So we are high up. Not as high as I'd like on the low speed stuff. So I don't want to go crazy on the guarantees. Um, I think we can reach Q3 with both cars and I think we can reach Q2 with both cars. I don't think that's unreasonable. Fastest lap, finish position. Oh, get yeah, we, we can absolutely do that. Let's have both cars finish position in the top 10. Uh, 
Um, we're not going to get the fastest lap, not unless we two stop it. Um, and we can't edit any of this, so that's fine. So we stand to make two and a half million plus the the race bonus. So we might we might make five million this race. Let's have a look at the engine situation. So Albono's practice engine's going in. And his practice ERS. And, uh, oh dear. Albono needs a new gearbox. Not yet, though. I think we'll take the new gearbox at Spa. Um, Engine-wise for Danny Rick, he is going back to his 14% engine. Um, to run it dry. ERS-wise... God, he needs a new one. And I'll be in debt. I don't want to go into debt. Um, no, he needs a new gearbox. I feel like we'll let the gearbox go and we'll run a new, a new, a new ERS for Spa. We need to save the cash. So, that's the end for today. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go and catch the end of BBR, considering I'm still injured. And can't race. How fun. Catch us next time, guys. For Hungary. One of my least favourite races on the calendar. Cheers.